This is a Fitbit. And I use this to sort of monitor my steps and so forth. It gives me, it's, so this is an IoT device. It sends information to my Android phone and tells me how active or inactive, usually, I am. Um, that's not the kind of technology that we want that's going to be running our next generation of transportation systems, that's going to be running our factories, that's going to be running those, you know, the complex machinery that enables our world. But you want that connectivity of the smarter machines and the uh, analytics and the data and that compatibility. So we don't want this kind of uh, information to, to be running our factories, uh, our industrial systems. The industrial internet is really taking IoT to that next level. So it's that complex machinery and it's the uh, communications and it's all the devices, uh, the communications, that enablement and that innovation that's necessary for next generation business. It's really business IoT. So you've got your refrigerator that will call and say, we're out of milk, we're out of eggs and so forth. But when you think about how you can relate that concept of what is that previously impossible scenario uh, in an industrial concept um, coming into the industrial internet through these test beds uh, that are um, under development and um, in the process of uh, being uh, identified and uh, prioritized within the IIC. Uh, that, is, that is really value to the world, really, through innovation to make, um, you know, the, certainly to make uh, industry smarter and, um, and um, find new innovation in ways that wasn't possible before, but it's also to help with uh, cleaner energy and, um, you know, reduce um, excess consumption and really to make things uh, more streamlined. And the reason for the consortium was to get more companies working together to solve this because there's the recognition that it's bigger than any one or two or three companies can come together. And what we see in the consortium is that we have a lot of working groups coming together. And in these working groups, we really get the best of um, the companies that have um, committed to the consortium. So they're putting their best engineers, their best scientists, their best IT architects and solution architects and so forth. And they're coming together in these working groups and really hammering out what these requirements are uh, to make the industrial internet uh, safe, secure, um, and uh, robust and in interoperable. They're coming together into this um, neutral consortium uh, and they're and to to you know kind of for the greater good. So they're all contributing to these work streams um, that are are coming out of this. So establishing what those frameworks are, establishing what the architectures are, uh, doing use cases um, across multiple companies. That is what we're seeing, and that's really where the value is uh, right now.